so much to remember for tomorrow, but there's still more they need to know. Even though there's 21 towers, it is still called the Tower of London, what it should be called the Towers of London. John and Edward must remember everything they're told, as the winner will be decided when the tourists take a test. Come on, Edward, go! And the boys have no idea which questions the tourists will be asked. But now, they're off to find another yeoman. He's in the torture chamber. Oh, this should be interesting. <laughs> so what's all this? This is some of the instruments of torture we used at the tower. Torture? It sounds so This scary. is like torture! That's the manacles, where they would hang you up on the wall and just let your body weight pull you down. Once you've got the rack here, where they would stretch you. Like, like an elastic band. No, elastic bands go back. When you're stretched on that, you don't go back. Your shoulder joints would break. They'd break your knee joints. And you'd hear the crunch of your bones cracking as the rack was slowly turning. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The prisoner would be put on the rack, their arms and legs tied to two rolls. Then using a crank, the torture would slowly stretch the prisoner. It was agony. Limbs would be dislocated or broken, or sometimes even torn or hauled together. Even if the prisoner survived, their limbs were often stretched and damaged so much they were completely useless. That was horrible. Who's the most famous person stretched? Uh, probably Guy Fawkes. Who was Guy Fawkes? Guy Fawkes was the man that tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament. We celebrate it every year on the November the 5th. Guy Fawkes night. Yeah, like all the fireworks. That's right. But he was brought here. He was put on the rack, lasted less than two hours. And once he was off the rack, of course, execution. <laughs> to give you some idea of what it was like to go in the rack, that is his signature before he went on the rack. Before the autograph. That's his autograph after it'd been. That's nothing like that. He must have needed so much pain. Like, oh. The boys are already halfway through their mission to discover all there is to know about the Tower of London. Let's go! Tomorrow, they must bring these stories to life with the help of their celebrity friends, Brian Dowling and Joe Swash. How do you think I get on? I don't know. I, I'm, I think I'm slightly concerned. Ed, okay? I'm not sure I'll get all the facts right, okay? A torch is crazy. Okay, what else is crazy? I don't know, okay? I learned that like William the Conqueror came here. I don't want to be put in stocks. I don't do yeah. either you. You're going down. You're going down. You're going down. If you lose, you're getting in the stop. I'm not going to lose. Brian and Joe are relying on the boys to gather all the tower facts, or they'll also be locked in the stocks. There's no time to waste. Focus, boys. You're about to meet another beef eater. Hey, Brian and Kay, we're here to find out about the Ravens case. What are the Ravens case? I need our amazing Ravens. He means ravens, Kevin, and he means birds. I yeah. certainly do. Yes, these are ravens. They're basically the largest bird in the crow family, but certainly the most intelligent. So why are the ravens here? Well, they're here actually because of a very, very old and important legend, which states that the kingdom, that's Great Britain to you and me, will fall if the ravens ever leave the Tower of London. Charles II even made a royal decree that six ravens must be kept at the Tower at all times. The order has been respected ever since, even though the ravens can sometimes be trouble. One of our ravens, Raven George, was sacked because he kept eating television errors. While another, Raven Grog, used to run off and go to the pub. I don't know, okay. Let's go find out what the ravens eat. Yeah, let's go. Are you daydreaming? Whoa! Size size a bird. Whoa, it's a like big bird. Yes, we got food for you. Mooney. Come here and take your lunchbox. Look, nice hearts. Yeah, hearts. Johnny, they're eating hearts. It's crazy. Yeah, well, the reason for that is they're carnivorous birds. What's carnivorous? Carnivorous, it means that they're meat eaters. They eat meat. What's a bird called that eats vegetables? Uh, a bird, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. For their tours tomorrow, the stories John and Edward have been told will be divvied up between them, ravens included. But who gets first dibs? I bags the story and the ravens. No, I bags that story. Who said you could bags it? Who said you could bags it? Who said you could bags it? But I want to say it tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm saying it. Oh, this could go on forever. But hang on, boys. There's still so much more you need to know. 
These animals, for instance. Time to find out from a lady with the info. This is the lady. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Say hello to Jed Cam. Hi, Jed Cam. Rebecca, yeah. this is so cool. <laughs> I'm here to tell you all about the animals that used to live at the tower. Yeah. In what was called the menagerie. It was like a royal zoo. We had lions, we had tigers, we had llamas, parrots. Medieval kings used to give each other rare and unusual animals as presents. And no one really knew how to treat them. A leopard used to steal umbrellas and hats from anyone stupid enough to get close, and would wee on them. When a monkey tore a boy's leg, they moved the menagerie out of the tower and into Regent's Park, where it's known today as London Zoo. Those animals are so cool. Yeah, I want an imaginary. It's a menagerie. A menagerie. Weeing leopards and violent monkeys. How will John or Edward tell that story in their tour, I wonder? Oh, no, not there. That's the Queen's house. Don't think you should be going in there. People have been beheaded for less. Let's hope the boys don't lose their heads. <laughs> go Jedward! Yeah, go Jedward! That can't happen nowadays anyway, can it? Time to meet our last expert. Look out, he's got a massive axe! So, yeoman, what is the traitor's game? Well, what you see there is probably the most famous, or shall I say infamous, gates in history. Traitor's Gate. <laughs> Seven prisoners came in through this gate and were beheaded inside the Tower of London. These people were accused or convicted of treason, one of which was the famous prisoner, Queen Anne Boleyn. Henry VIII married Anne Boleyn in 1533, but just three years later she fell out of favour and was sent here as his prisoner. She never left. Not that she was the last of Henry VIII's wives to meet a grisly end at the Tower, in 1542, Catherine Howard, his fifth wife, was executed here as well. Ah, don't behead me! Let's get out of here, yo! The voyage of discovery is over, and it's goodbye experts. Tomorrow, John and Edward must become the experts themselves and compete to give some tourists a tour that they'll never forget. Question is, can they remember anything at all? We have to focus, okay? We've got to think of all the facts we learned today, okay? Make it come to life, make it the whole thing, and make it so much cooler. Everything, okay? No one else wants the torture thing. Uh -huh. I hope I get the ravens. Edith. I love the ravens. I love the ravens. I love the ravens. I'm serious, okay? I don't think I know all the facts. It's time for the boys to meet up with Brian and Joe again and divvy up those stories. Brian, Joe, okay. it's time to go. Let's go! John and Brian are on there. And together we are to Brian! Team Edward! Yeah! You will teach the tourists who the beef eaters are and what their real name is. You have to teach the tourists the origins of the tower and who built it and how many towers there are today. I know this one. Do you know this one? Yeah, do you know yeah. this one? Yeah! You will teach the tourists about the use of torture and how long it took before Guy Fawkes gave up. So how can you make that interesting? We need to teach the tourists about the magnificent ravens. But I was thinking maybe like a raven costume. You'll be teaching the tourists about the animals that lived at the tower and the name given to the zoo. Oh, I think dress up time. It's going to be so much fun. I know. How many people were beheaded at the tower? It's six. Six. Seven. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, Jabrine all the way. Jabrine, yeah. <laughs> Edward, we've got a plan, we know what we're doing. Your name's Joe. Your name's Edward, can we hear it? Joe Word! Yeah! Yeah! With only a few hours left in the day, the boys are heading back to Jedward HQ to get ready for tomorrow. Edward, I'm gonna beat you, okay? Whatever. Edward, I know way more facts than you. You can even find your place this morning. Edward, I always knew where we were going. John, okay. the Tower of London was so big and you couldn't even see it. Tomorrow, it's competition time, and they must both prepare a tour that has to entertain and inform if they want to win. You're going to lose tomorrow. No, you're going to lose. 